Hi Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading to look at your situation specifically, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the roles in this particular reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, what is going on with you in July 2022 in a love connection? Let's see. For the situation, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Swords. Okay, so it could be that there, it seems like there's not an even give and take um, between you and this other person or s somebody, one of the two of you, is not knowing how to give um, or doesn't know how to give more energy to this because it could be that whoever is doing this is also giving energy to something else. Um, so something along those lines. Now the challenge is to really overcome this feeling of stuckness because there is a little bit of stuckness here for somebody, whoever it is who is feeling like they just cannot give to this. Um, let's see. For your energy, we have the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Magician. Okay, so you're in this space of really wanting to manifest some kind of communication here. Now, it could be that you're not in communication at the moment, or maybe you are in communication but feeling like the communication is off, or that you know, you're having a hard time really um, connecting in terms of communication with this person. I feel like you're you're really wanting to um, get things straight or you know bring things out to the open, understand each other. Um, and I do see you really moving in that direction of pushing for that. Let's see for them. We have the five of wands, the ace of wands, and the four of pentacles. Okay, so they're, they're a little bit, yeah, I see. I feel like they're not being as responsive to your efforts, and this could even be just on an energetic level, okay, if you're not in communication. I feel like this person is um, bringing some resistance to the connection, and if you are in communication, I feel like maybe they are a bit argumentative. I feel like they have some stubbornness here. Um, yeah, so it feels like it's hard to get to get through to them. So it does feel like they are the ones who are not able to give as much to this as you are giving to this. Um, there's definitely a lot of passion here, though, um, on their on their end. They do feel a lot of passion for you, but it's like there's also this like stubbornness and argumentativeness. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with an Aries. Maybe a Leo, not to diss on them, I'm an Aries, <laughs> but I know how Aries can get sometimes. Um, let's see the potential outcome. We have the Two of Wands. All right, so I feel like this is actually a lot of thinking is what I'm getting with this. A lot of thinking and being a little bit, a little bit in a dilemma here, trying to decide, you know, okay, which way should I go or, you know, should I take action or shouldn't I take action? either for you or for them. So let's clarify and see what we get here. So let's see for that Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. All right, and we have Death. Okay, Scorpio's energy, the Empress and the chariot. Wow, three major arcana cards here as clarifiers. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is actually very, very intense. This whole um, issue with the communication or with like, you know, somebody just being very, very resistant to the communication. Um, it, it almost feels like, because I really feel like it's this person here. Um, they're feeling like 
this is just like it's either done or like they're they're just like locked that's what i feel i feel like their mind is locked at the moment or it has been like there's like this lock in yeah i'm locked this is how it is this is what i'm doing and almost like they can't break away from that really really strange um and i feel like they want to that's the thing it's like they want to but you know how like when somebody is really stubborn and like they've been persisting in a particular issue for like a long time or in a particular behavior and then it's just like hard to just change it because how can you just suddenly be different even though that's what you want it feels like that It's like they want to change directions, um, but they don't know how. And again, you know, with this Empress here, I feel like they do have these strong feelings for you. And they it's like this person feels like, yeah, you know, you're, you're standing in your right. Like you, what you're doing is being very, um, what's the word? Like very um, accommodating to them. And it's like they know that. But because they've been this way for a while, it's like it's hard to just kind of break away from that. Let's see. Let's see if that page of wands in your energy. And we have the Hierophant and the Star. Okay. Cancer. Wow. Wow. Every clarifier has been major arcana so far. Really interesting. Also, we have um, Aquarius and Taurus that are showing up here for you. You're you're wanting a commitment with this person. You want things to be very, very stable. And I feel like you have this hope, like you have this deep, deep hope as well as wish um, that this can happen. You feel like this can be healed. And you just really want it to work out and find this stability. You want things to be mature. You want things to be um, stable and healthy. So that's why you have this drive to just keep giving and giving and giving. Let's see this page of swords. Ooh, okay, that flew out. Um, the king of wands and the nine of cups. Yeah, you know, I mean, you're very fond of this person, um, regardless of this weird behavior that they're exerting here. This is like, you know, you feel like this could be somebody that, you know, you, you could be fulfilled with if they could just overcome some kind of a stubbornness here, some kind of um, a behavior, which I feel is rooted in, you know, something else that possibly could be healed but you know I see a lot of resistance though and I'm not saying it can't be healed I do feel like it can um, I just feel like it's going to take a lot of work from this person and then possibly you also doing things maybe in a little bit of a different way maybe um, let's see let's see that magician because you are manifesting something here The Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you are you are manifesting something, but it feels more of coming to some kind of a resolution about this because of how challenging it is. So I feel like really what you're manifesting here is that you know, you're, you're, you've been putting in so much effort or you were putting in so much effort in the past because you have so much hope for this, because you see the potential, because you, you, you know, really feel a deeper connection with this person and want it to be stable. Um, so you were in that energy. And I feel like through that, you know, something that you're learning here is that, yeah, um, but that's challenging, you know, like a, there's only so much you can do to help this, you know, they have to give back as well. They have to do something for themselves. And it, it almost feels like the more that you give to them and the more accommodating you become for this person like the more that they stay in this in this same kind of an energy so i feel like what you're manifesting is 
you're realizing that, yeah, something needs to be done differently. Like there has to be some kind of new practical approach to this. Let's see for them. Let's see this Five of Wands. What is this resistance about? All right, we have Strength, okay, Leo, and the Ten of Cups. <laughs> well, they're a resistance to happiness. They're re resisting love. Um, I, I feel like there's a bit of ego here. That's a big part of it. Um, for some of them, it could, it could be that they feel like they're not strong enough to deal with such an intense connection. And so, like, their automatic response is to just be argumentative and to, you know, raise conflict and raise arguments and just be reactive. And it does come off as a little bit immature, to be honest with you. Um, there's a reason, though, for all of this that's happening here. And a big part of it is for you, you know, to, to learn something from this, all right? And I do feel like it's relating to how accommodating you're willing to be for somebody, right? When they're not giving back as much as you're giving to them. So, yeah, this person is showing a little bit of, a lot of, actually, stubbornness and resistance. It's like they're holding on to this arguing like no other. Even though they also feel like this would be their Ten of Cups, like this is what they would want. But it's like they're resisting it. Um, it could be that this person has a fear of happiness and of fulfillment. And I know that sounds crazy, but it is a thing. Let's see that Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles and Judgment. Mm, yeah, okay, so here's the thing. It's like... This person's dealing with a lot. Um, I don't know if they have like another situation going on, possibly another relationship for some of them, but they're definitely juggling a lot. Um, and they're feeling this passion towards you. And there's, there's a major wake up call here, um, especially in terms of a reconnection. And I feel like that's only going to come in when you manifest this new path for yourself, this new way of interacting or, you know, in regards to the amount of energy and effort that you put into this. That's going to lead them to have this other, um, like, to react differently. Like, if you change something, it's going to change something in them, in the way that they react. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, they're going to keep reacting in the same way over and over again. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, I'm definitely seeing here, like, there's this desire for them to have a reconnection here, a resurrection of this. And that's not going to be easy for them to handle, especially, you know, once you pull that energy away from them. And that's actually going to serve this whole situation in a positive manner. Let's see that Four of Pentacles. Ooh, the world. And justice. Okay, Libra also showing up here. Um, so I don't remember, I, did I call out all the signs? We have Cancer, we have Scorpio, we have Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus, we have a whole bunch of signs here. Of course it could be any sign. Um, Aries and Libra. Those are the ones that I'm seeing here. So yeah, I mean, look at this. Like this stubbornness, like soon as you manifest your own path or like a different path here where you're not going to be um, putting up <laughs> with so much argumentativeness or resistance, that's when they're ending that cycle of stubbornness. That's when they finally begin to find some balance and start behaving in a more just and fair way. They're still holding on to you. They're still holding on to you. Even if you switch it up and, you know, decide to, you know, look out after your own self, right? And let them have some responsibility in, you know, sorting this out. You can't be the only one taking responsibility for this. 
So let's see that Two of Wands for the potential outcome. The Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's um, it's really interesting here. I almost feel like it's a cliffhanger. There's there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety that is going to come up. I feel mostly for the other person, okay? Because I see you being in a um, good space here at the end here with that magician. I feel like, you know, this person is really going to be in this dilemma. Like, wait, okay, you know, like this is a commitment here, you know, that I really feel deeply for and I really want to have in my life. And now, you know, with, with you being different, you know, it's creating a lot of stress for them. And I feel like that is pushing them to move away from what is not serving them. And I feel like that is that argumentativeness, the resistance, some kind of stagnation, you know, holding back um, and not giving energy to this. That's what they're going to begin to walk away from. I do still see here, I feel like it is taking just a little bit of time, um, but it's like you're manifesting that for this connection. And then, you know, you you can choose <laughs> if this person comes back and is willing to be to give as much as you've been giving then you know it will be up to you all right cancer let's see if this reading resonated please give me a thumbs up and let's get the final message for you all right and we have settling and okay, it could be for some of you, I was kind of picking up a little bit on this before. I think I did mention um, some of them possibly, I can't remember if I mentioned it. I remember thinking it with that five of wands that they might be dealing with another situation. Um, if that's the case, yeah, they've definitely been settling. But uh, what I'm getting most from this message here is to make sure that you're not settling. Don't, don't be settling in a situation um, when you're not receiving as much as you are giving. Make sure you're not settling. So, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.